Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with a Samsung Captivate. I'm going to show you guys on how to install an ice cream sandwich from a completely stock uh, Froyo Captivate. Um, I have a friend's Captivate here and he asked me to do this so I figured it would be a good opportunity to film it and show it to you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download some files. Um, I'm going to have them linked on the YouTube video so you guys can find them. And uh, here are the files you need. Uh, you need GApps version 5.1. Uh, depending on uh, what might be the newest GApps, it actually might be different than this. You need the Hardcore Speed Mod for the Captivate, Heimdall Suite, and uh, Team Hacksong Captivate MTD um, file. Uh, right now I'm going to use build 6, that's the latest one. Depending on when you're actually doing this, it might be a different build. So first thing I'm going to do is actually just extract uh, this and um, by extracting the hardcore mod I can uh, quickly use Heimdall. So now I can just get rid of uh, this zip file. Now I'm going to extract the Heimdall also. Alright, so Heimdall is extracted and I can just delete that. I'm actually going to now go back to my phone, and uh, to the phone actually, and I'm um, going to prime it. So I'm just going to plug in a USB in here. And so now we're at the select USB mode. And I'm just going to choose mass storage. And then. Connect. So now we have the orange Android. We go back to our computers, and we're going to be able to open folder. So now I have, you know, a formatted SD card, so there's not much there. So I'm just going to move over the zip file right to the SD card, and that's going to be the ROM. And I'm also going to move the G apps. Um, the goal here is you do want to move it right to the root directory, which is what we did right there. All right, so now we can go back to our phones. Uh, make sure we uh, eject the device from our computers first. So eject, and we're back on the phone. And then we can turn off. USB storage. Okay. Um, at this point, I'm just going to unplug the USB and I'm going to power off the phone. So, next thing we're going to actually do is uh, boot the phone up into download mode. Um, I, also, I always recommend uh, anybody with a Galaxy S phone to get a USB jig. So you can buy one, uh, they're relatively inexpensive, or you can always make your own. Um, I actually have both. I have uh, this right here, which has the resistors and then uh, micro USB plug. I just taped it up so I don't lose the micro USB plug. And then you have the pins matched. There's many videos out there of how to do that. And I also have a retail jig, which um, is right here, uh, which is pretty easy to use. They're relatively inexpensive. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume you don't have a jig and you're just going to be uh, booting to download mode without it. So to boot to download mode, you're going to grab your phone. Just going to hold down the volume up, volume down, and plug in the micro USB like so. And there we go. Downloading. So we're in download mode on our phones, which is exactly what we want. Um, on your computer here, I had a, a message pop up asking for 
drivers. Unfortunately, I don't have the drivers installed yet, so that's just fine. So now um, we have the Heimdall suite here. And we're going to go to the drivers and then choose the ZA Diag. I'm going to click yes. And we have gadget serial, but let's just go list all devices. And usually it's just gadget serial, so I'm just going to choose that right there. And we're going to get a message that says Windows Connect Verify, install this driver anyways. So we're installing the driver. Driver was successfully installed. Then we exit out of this. Okay, so now um, we have that done. Let me go back to our phones here. And we're going to, actually we can go back to here. We're going to do the um, Heimdall front end. All right, and we already extracted the ZI image, so I will click browse under kernel, the ZI image. And I'm going to go up, and I have speed core captivate, ZI image captivate. And now there's a start right there. And there you go. Flash completed successfully. So now we're going to go back to our phones. And what that did was we actually flashed a custom kernel to the uh, Samsung Captivate. And as of right now, we actually don't need to go back to our computer. So that was my fault here. We're actually going to start up the phone. I should have uh, booted up to recovery, but it's okay. Um, at this point, we can actually unplug the phone. We don't need it plugged in anymore. So I'm just going to power it off once again. still haven't had the vibrate to say that it's officially powered off so we'll wait for that okay we have the vibrate so now to boot into recovery mode this is very important because you'll be doing this quite often you're going to hold down the two volume buttons and the power button and as soon as that AT&T sign comes on you let go of the power button and just keep on holding to the volume buttons and here we go we have a custom recovery that is booted right here. So at this point, we're going to go to install zip from SD card. And we're going to choose, choose zip from SD card. And then we're going to choose Team Hacksung. And we're going to scroll down and click yes. And we're press selecting by using the power button as our enter button. So right here we're actually installing and now it's just going to reboot because it's uh, updated the kernel I believe. Alright so now it's actually installing um, the actual ice cream sandwich. And this does take a little while here. Um, basically, it's extracting all the stuff. Um, after this, we're actually going to install the another zip. We're going to choose the G app zip, and that will install our Google applications, including the market, the calendar, syncing. And um, once we have the market, we could download other applications, such as Google Maps and so forth. So we're still continuing to wait to install here. So. This takes, like I said, this takes like a minute or so. It's actually pretty quick. And I'm just going to continue to wait here for you guys. And actually, I'm going to continue to wait here. And... Alright, so that's uh, installed there. 
and we're actually going to boot back up to recovery right now. Alright, so this is a uh, first boot right here. So uh, it's basically like, gives you like a small tutorial on how to use your stuff, but we're good. Um, at this point, I'm actually, as you can see, it is taking hacks on. But at this point, I'm actually going to uh, shut reboot into recovery once again. So I'm just going to choose reboot. And then I'm just going to make it easy and just choose recovery. And we're going to be rebooting recovery. Uh, we're going to do this to install our Google Apps, uh, which weren't installed since it booted directly into the ROM after flashing it. All right, so now we're back on recovery. Uh, we're going to go to install zip from SD card. We're going to choose uh, zip from SD card, and we're going to choose gapps. Um, at this point, at the video, it's gapps 5.1. More than likely, later it'll be different. So we're installing our Google Apps right here. And we're done. And now I'm just going to choose go back and reboot system. And uh, this isn't the first reboot, so this will be a little faster, but we did install some extra stuff, so um, it might take a little longer. Uh, in general, um, on my actual Captivate, loading up ice cream sandwich, the boot up time is incredibly fast, at least compared to some of the other ROMs I've used previously. Like I said, this uh, right now might actually not be very indicative. So, like I said, we did install the Google Apps. Yeah, so now it's saying Android is updating because it's optimizing all the Google Apps we just installed. So at this point we're pretty much uh, booted here. There is no SIM card in this phone, so it's fine. Um, so basically, here's how it is: first boot, and I'm just gonna switch phones for a second here.